sure no one likes paying fees or fines, but they can be a real burden for some people to pay. That's why the Birmingham Municipal Court is planning to make some changes. Tristan Rupert joins us live now in studio. Tristan, the idea here is to help people, but it's going to take a little while. That's right, Morgan. The idea is that in the years ahead, the city's new partnership with the National League of Cities will not only relieve stress on low to moderate income families, but provide them economic opportunities and even create lasting policy reform. Birmingham is joining the CAFI initiative alongside eight other cities. It stands for cities addressing fines and fees equitably. Now the city will undergo a year of technical assistance and identify other ways to move forward without the funding from fines. Presiding Judge Andre Spark says this is the latest effort to provide restorative justice here in the city. He points to the court's effort to find work for the unemployed as well as the efforts to increase workforce training and GED access in lieu of fines or fees. I'm glad that we get the opportunity here in the city to be able to support people. Nobody comes to court and expect that they're going to be benefited or blessed when they leave here. But that's exactly what we try to do. If we can eliminate some of the burdens that people have, then maybe they won't make the same choices they've made in the past. Cities participating in NLC's CAFI initiative will also receive grant support to assess and reform inequitable policies in the court system. Reporting in studio, Tristan Rupert, WBRC, Fox 6 News, on your side. All right, time.